I was watching AEW and both NXT this night and NXT good fucking luck beating AEW in the ratings. If I was watching NXT and I saw a little bit of what AEW was doing, I would be like, yo, I got to watch some AEW. Fuck this NXT shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> AEW was going so all out in that last hour. They they had all the matches on there done just right. They got all the, the don't care matches in the beginning and the important ones near the end, which is what they did opposite last week. When I think everybody and their mother knew that Dustin Rose was not going to beat a newly crowned Brody Lee for the championship. But for some reason, they got a million, you know. But this week they have competition with the two and... AEW did a way better job when it comes to like getting viewers from NXT if they were trying to do that one or making things right. They did two things right. The the last portion of the show was was uh MJF doing a promo, which is ratings right there. And Moxley was there. That's ratings right there. And that no what was what was it Moxley? Uh no, MJF MJF was there, and then they had um Jake Roberts, uh, Jake Roberts uh, announcing he's with, with Team Taz now. Uh, that, that's a big, that's big news right there. And then, and then, um, Moxley unveiled he has someone new in there. And then he says, Darbyella is going to be the next week. It was a big brawl in that section that was controversial and all out. So that was a big brawl, like reveal thing right there. And then they had the parking lot brawl, which is rare to see in wrestling nowadays. The first time this year, if you, if you don't want to count NXT's thing with uh, Adam Cole, Bebe and Velveteen Dream. So that's pretty rare in itself. And the two, the, the two teams involved in the parking lot brawl deserved to be in that one because there was a car involved and the, the blood feud between those two. So it was a good, it was, it was, it was good. Uh, it's a good setup, a good background, and the stuff happening in the match that was pretty chaotic. You know, people going through tables, people don't do barricade. I think it looked like actual glass. People like getting denting the roofs on cars. They were using their environment very, very well. Uh, I don't know which one was using it better. You know, the, the the first one this year and NXT or this one, but this one did a very good job. This one had a lot of blood and gore, some drama, some smack talking, a big surprise with Orange Cassidy at the very end as well. But overall, they were captivating as hell. If you watched NXT and thought that. Basically, this new guy Thatcher was gonna be like the, the 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 newly pushed, the newly pushed Damian Priest. What were they thinking putting that on last? Oh, the title match is gonna be important. People are gonna think it's important. It's obvious who's gonna win. It's as obvious as um, you know, Ro, uh, was uh, Thunder Rosa versus Ibelis. Ooh, I mean, like. Thunder Rosa's newly pushed, and Ibelis has a losing streak, kind of, sort of. No way. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> why, why was that even on the show? That's stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, AEW's definitely winning this week there. Um, numbers? Uh, I didn't see all of NXT. All I saw was like what they were, the competition, what they were putting up against each other. Ugh. NXT did not put their best foot forward. I would say that probably uh, I don't know. AEW did get a, jo- a good job there. I, if 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 everything goes well, I would say um, eight eight fifty to nine fifty for AEW. A maybe I didn't see all of NXT, but it's probably not as good as AEW. Um, I would probably say six fifty or whatever for NXT, something like that. So definitely not a million because you know NXT takes a few viewers away. So definitely not a million, but definitely good numbers. Clack off.